Whatever you're doing, whether you're a brand, a business, whether you're me, you've got a shop window. So in the same way as you'd walk along a high street in the past and you'd sort of see in a shop window and you'd get an idea about what that shop's about, whether it's, whether it's going to be expensive in there, whether it's going to be cheap, whether it's going to be high quality, whether it's going to be um, professional, whether it's going to be clinical, all these things you'd see just through looking in a shop window. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of thought to myself at the time, okay, what do I do with my shop window? I've got this Instagram now, it's free, which is brilliant. I just lost my job, so I wasn't, wasn't rolling in it. Um, and I thought, what do I do with my shop window? How can, I, how can I put stuff on there? And I was completely anonymous at this point because I'd always worked for brands, I'd always worked for agencies, I'd always worked for companies. And so I'd never actually, um, nobody knew who I was at all. And the work I was picking up was kind of coming word of mouth. So I thought, well, I'll start putting things online and hopefully it'll be like a good shop window in that you'd see it and you'd think to yourself, okay, that's interesting. I'll click on his website and I'll see his website and I'll commission him to do some work. And so that's pretty much how it started. And then one day, didn't have a sketchbook with me, drew on a coffee cup and put it online. And so I started doing that and I started traveling and leaving them places wherever I was going. And then all of a sudden I was working in um, men's prison, teaching art in prison left prison one day and as part of working in prison you're completely cut off from the outside world you've got no phones no laptops no ipads or anything like that and um sat in the car uh, turned my phone on my phone's vibrating itself to pieces i've got emails i've got text messages i've got voicemails um the first 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 message i get is my mom sat at home on her ipad reading the daily mail and there's an article on her son on the home page of the mail and that pretty much blew up from there and from this you've actually picked up some quite sizable and well-known clients, not just Worcestershire based, but globally. Yes, yeah, so Nike, mm -hmm. Samsung, uh, Le Levi. Sunglasses Hut? Uh, Sunglass Hut, I worked, yeah. did a global campaign for them. Um, the Golden Globes, I did the Golden Globes for three years on the run. When the coffee cup thing happened, I realized I could work anywhere. Because I was sitting in coffee shops and working and sitting in libraries and working and things like that. It's all of a sudden didn't matter where I worked. So as long as you've got Wi-Fi, it, doesn't matter at all. They don't care. They don't need you to. They don't need me to have this um, huge offices with leather sofas and you know flash cars. And generally speaking, whoever it is you work for, you need to meet three things. You need to meet uh, time, work on time. Work, uh, I'm used to that. There's always a deadline. Um, budget. I'm used to that. You agree the terms at the start of that. The quality. And quality is the you know again you know I'm used to working with that. So as long as you've got those three things, they don't they, people don't care where you are anymore. It doesn't matter at all. When when people say to you uh, you know there we go, there's the project, do whatever you please, and you propose things to people, and they're like yeah great, let's let's do this. That's just it's just brilliant. It's just it's all what I always wanted to do and. And if I can carry on doing that, I'll be more than happy. Well, congratulations on all your success no, today. Thank you. And best of luck for the future. Thank you so much. Great. Thank Thanks you. very much, Rob. Take thank care. you. Cheers.